to my channel so today I have the balance box by height adjustable mounts and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up I have everything laid out in this classroom and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like please subscribe comment like and enjoy thank you okay guys so now we already have the mobile stand by balance box set up it's as you saw in the video it's really easy it's just attaching these two legs and the four wheels and basically this is all one unit so there's not much setting up here so the next step here is we have to attach this bracket and this is what's going to hold the balance box just so you know it's the second screw from the top this one second one if you if the school is um has bigger kids then we would have to put it up on the top one. And if it's an elementary school, like a preschool, then you put it on the second level. And they have more levels too, if you want to put it even lower. Just remember that this would be the highest point that the balance box would come up at. So there's different sizes. You choose which one. For example, in this school, this is a junior high school. So these are bigger kids. So we'll, we'll install it on this one. So it's really easy. By the way, the balance box already comes uh, with the Allen key for the mobile stand. But remember, this one right here, you need to get your own Allen key because it's not provided with balance box. Keep that in note. If you're planning on doing this on your own with no tools, you need to have a set of Allen keys to be able to tighten these. Very important to know. We have this Klein Tools multi Allen key size uh, it's a it's really it's a really good tool. We're gonna use this one, and this is perfect. It's gonna be perfect right now. So I'm gonna have my my coworker. He's gonna tighten these two. I'm gonna show you really quick. Perfect. Next step: mount the balance box. Well, guys, this is heavy. This is around I say it around 45. 50 pounds at least so it just latches it just latches on to the bracket really easy after that we have some screws that we need to put in these holes that's what's gonna hold the balance box and prevent it from going like this so screw there screw there and these screws come provided with the the balance box it's that one right there same thing you need your own allen key set for this to work yeah, it's the, uh, it's the same one you use for the top. Here we go. Okay. I think it's okay, don't forget to remove these little styrofoam pieces. It's gotta come off. They're one on each side. And now, we have to install the brackets that are for the smart board. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is the smart board we're using. Model is the SPNL 6065 V2 Interactive Board. So this fits perfectly, and you can use any other board too. It also works with balance box. Use Promethean as well. All right, so the, the board comes with these mounting brackets, so very important. These two get mounted on the balance box and the, this one gets mounted on the board. And I'm gonna show you in a moment how this gets mounted. And remember always to follow the, the manual because it will tell you depending on the balance box that you have, which hole do you put the these brackets on. You can't just put it on any one. You have to put it on a specific one. So for example, we already read the manual for this and this one goes on the first hole. So I'm gonna install that right now. Okay guys, so these are the screws that I'm gonna use. Just keep in mind, I'm just showing you because it can be a little confusing. But it's these right here. Make sure before you select them, make sure they fit right there. So I'm gonna put them right now. Okay guys, next step. Uh, installing these mounts that come with the, the balance box. So remember, these two come on these two holes up here. The screws are already provided. You pull one here, 
and the bottom one. Note, the bottom one is the one with the, with the openings in the bottom. This one doesn't have anything in the bottom. Keep that in mind because that's how you screw in the, the board to the, to the balance box. Okay guys, last step is mounting the board onto the mount onto the balance box. Just want to keep in mind when you're going to mount it, it has to go on this second one. It can't go on that top one cuz it won't fit. You'll you'll find out if you try to cuz we already did. So, remember, we're going to put that right now. I'm going to show you quickly mounting it. Remember, two people at least to mount. This is kind of heavy. Okay, make sure it's centered with the board. We put a little mark so we know what's the center of the balance box. We're just trying to get it centered. Last step here, well, close to the last steps is putting on the screw that goes right under the board. Goes right under, I'm gonna show you in a moment. Okay, so last, one of the last steps is we have to put a screw to, to hold the, the smart board to the balance box and you see that hole right there we have to put one screw there and another one where is it oh, I can't see it it's right there right there so we're gonna put them right now um, so one of the optional accessories that comes with the balance box is this laptop tray so we're gonna install it right now but before I do I'm just gonna show you what comes with it it comes obviously the laptop tray and it comes with these screws I'm gonna show you how to install, very easy. We're gonna do it right now. Okay, so very easy. We put the laptop tray. Let me put them on light. And then you put the, the plastic, uh, looks like plastic washers and the screw. On each side. And then you just need your uh, either a screwdriver or you can use a, a, a driver and just tighten it. And that's it. That's the laptop tray. Very easy to install. Okay guys, so last step for us. Well, this school has a Mac mini. They want to install the Mac mini. So usually they wouldn't, this lap, this is actually for a laptop tray, this stand, but this moves around, this can fall down, it's not really secure. So the school wanted a way to secure the Mac always to the smart board. So even if the board goes up and down, the Mac stays with it. So we came up with this solution where we can mount, this is the mount to the Mac, and we're gonna put it right here. And we have some special screws that are made to um, made so that they can penetrate the, the metal. These are sheet metal screws. So we're gonna install we're gonna install this right now. I'm gonna show you how we install it and installing the Mac and um, including the, the wiring setup. Here we go. We're gonna install the mount. Remember, we're using sheet metal screws. Second one, make sure it's leveled. Okay, last step, put in the Mac. Okay, so the Mac just slides right in. Gonna give it a little nudge and voila, it's in. It's tightly secure, it's not going anywhere. Wire the Mac, we need two cables, uh, actually three cables, the power, HDMI, and USB. USB. This actually comes with the board. The board unfortunately doesn't come with uh, HDMI, so just hope you have one handy. And connect your Mac to it. OK, 
Okay, so there's the Mac mounted balance box and some cable management, USB and HDMI. Now we just gotta put power, power to the small board and power to the Mac mini. Okay, last step, power and connect the board. Power cable. Okay, so the last step for the balance box, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is supposed to go up and down. If I push down right now, this is not going down because the tension on the springs is it's tight. So balance box recommends five seconds on each screw. Let me show you, there's one here and there's another one. Let me show you on the other side. And there's another one right there. You see two of them. So what we're gonna do is with the drill, five seconds and let it spin for five seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds and the same thing on the other side. Maybe five seconds. Here we go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. So you see, now the balance box, now the board can be moved up and down. So if we move it, so if, if it's not completely how you want it, you just tighten it a little bit more. But right now, it seems like we need to tighten it just a little bit more. So now we're gonna turn the, the drill so it can be on the tightening. Let's do two seconds. One, two. Same thing on this side. Let's tighten it until we get it the way we want. Now let's move the board. Wow. Perfect. Uh, maybe we need to tighten it just a little bit more. Hold up. Let me see. See if it stays in place. Yeah, it does. Does it stay in place? Put it all the way up. Does it stay there? Do a little adjustment, like just a little bit, see if it stays. Perfect, that's it, that's it. So it's easy, no, um, you don't need no electric, there's no electric motor, all spring loaded, up and down, perfect. So there you go guys, this is the balance box mounted with the smart board. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. I'm going to give all the details in the description below. Um, the exact model of the balance box. I know this is the 400 series. And I'll put the description also of the smart board. Uh, if you guys are interested in any type of installations, we work in the northeast of the United States. And uh, we have a team of professionals that uh, can install any type of uh, mounts this is just a mobile stand but we also do on wall over the mount brackets so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys on the next one